Imagine watching a huge ship gliding smoothly across the water. It is a steel colossus weighing thousands of tons, but it seems to float with the elegance of a leaf. And if you could look beneath the surface, you would discover something that defies all logic. The bottom of the ship, in most cases, is almost completely flat. How is it possible that something so heavy does not sink? And why do naval engineers decide to give it such a peculiar shape? Today, we're going to dive literally under ships to discover why flat bottoms are the key to balancing stability, speed, and safety. Before continuing, if you're surprised by what you're discovering, subscribe and leave your like right now, because on this channel we reveal secrets of the world that very few dare to tell. The design of a ship is no accident. Every curve, every angle, and every surface is calculated with pinpoint accuracy. The flat base, also called a flat bottom hull, may seem simple, but it is the result of centuries of naval evolution. Ancient sailing ships, modern cargo ships, and even military vessels use varying degrees of flatness depending on their purpose. It's not just a matter of aesthetics. It's pure hydrodynamic science. To understand why a boat can stay afloat, you first need to understand a fundamental principle of physics, Archimedes' principle. This states that any body submerged in a fluid receives an upward force equal to the weight of the liquid it displaces. In simple terms, as long as the boat displaces enough water to equal its weight, it will float. Now, a flat base helps distribute the boat's weight more evenly over the water. This means it can travel through shallow areas without sinking too much. That's why riverboats, cargo ships, and ferries often have flat bottoms. They need stability more than speed. A rounded or V-shaped bottom, although it cuts through waves better, is less stable in calm waters or with a heavy load. Here's another key factor, contact surface. The flatter the base, the more stable the boat, especially when it's stationary or docked. It's the same principle that keeps you balanced when you stand with both feet on a board. The further apart you stand, the more balanced you are. Engineers apply exactly that idea to naval design. But, of course, nothing in engineering is free. A flat base provides stability, but it also creates more water resistance. That means boats with flat bottoms are not the fastest on the ocean. In fact, warships and cruise ships designed for long distances use more curved or V-shaped hulls to cut through waves more efficiently. So why do merchant ships, which carry thousands of tons of cargo, still prefer flat bottoms? The answer is strategic. Their goal is not to race, but to transport as much as possible with the least risk of capsizing. In addition, a flat bottom facilitates loading and unloading operations and reduces draft, the depth of the ship below the waterline. This allows them to enter shallow ports or navigate rivers and canals where a deep hull would be a problem. And yes, they may not win races, but they win in efficiency. Every millimeter of steel, every curve of the hull, is designed with a balance between buoyancy, capacity, and safety in mind. For centuries, shipbuilders experimented with different hull shapes. Ancient wooden ships, for example, were rounded to withstand the violent waves of the ocean. But with the advent of engines and global trade, the priority changed. Now the important thing was to transport more and spend less. This led to the emergence of modern ships with almost flat bottoms. Engineers discovered that a slight curvature was enough to maintain direction and buoyancy without sacrificing stability. Hulls became wider and straighter, optimizing internal space. And thanks to modern technology, even today's flat bottoms are coated with materials that reduce friction with the water, allowing for smoother and more economical navigation. However, one thing has not changed. The shape of a ship's bottom is still its soul. A small error in angle or proportion can turn a safe vessel into a floating trap. That's why behind every design, there are simulations, water tank tests, and calculations that take months or years. And if you're enjoying this journey beneath the surface, subscribe and leave your like. 
because we still have to discover how this simple shape saved thousands of sailors and transformed maritime transport forever. A flat bottom not only improves stability, it also facilitates maneuvering and repairs. When a boat runs aground or needs maintenance, a flat hull can more easily rest on dry platforms or docks without risk of structural damage. In addition, in emergency situations, a flat bottom ship is more likely to stay afloat even if part of its structure is flooded. This design also reduces rolling, the side-to-side -side motion that causes seasickness and can be dangerous on the high seas. That's why many tourist boats and ferries adopt flat bottoms to offer more comfortable voyages. In short, a flat bottom is a silent promise of safety, but there is also an economic reason behind it. By building boats with flat bottoms, companies save on materials and manufacturing time. It is a way to make better use of space and simplify production, making global trade more profitable. Ultimately, flat design is not only a technical decision, but also a matter of economic survival. In a world where technology constantly strives for speed and sophistication, flat bottom ships remind us of a fundamental lesson. Stability is also power. The apparent simplicity of their shape hides a complex dance between physics economics, and engineering. Every time you see a ship gliding across the water, remember that its design is no accident. Behind that flat base lie centuries of knowledge, failed experiments, and discoveries that change the way humans master the oceans. So the next time you visit a port and see a giant ship floating serenely, think about this. It floats not because it defies the laws of nature, but because it understands them better than anyone else. And if you were fascinated to discover the secret behind the bottom of ships, subscribe, leave your like, and join us on the next journey where we will explore the hidden mysteries that keep our world afloat. Because understanding how the giants of the sea work is understanding how our own civilization floats.